So I had this type of mindset during my first kickboxing match that really helped me out. So I pretty much expected this fight to be a scrap because let's be real, it's me in that person's first fight. And usually how it goes when you're doing your first ever fight, nine out of 10 times, technique is gonna go out the window. You know, you're gonna start to throw haymakers, you're gonna start to throw random shit because at the end of the day, you're, you're trying to fucking win, right? And that's kind of what I knew going into this fight that technique was gonna go through out the window. And honestly, looking back at the footage, my technique wasn't that bad, but definitely there were things that I was doing wrong, like putting my hands down, um, kind of throwing like haymakers and shit like that. But I knew at the end of the day, like technique is great, but technique's not the thing that's going to get me to win. It's all about marching fucking forward and trying to flame your opponent, trying to fucking take his head off. And that's exactly the mindset that I had. I, like, I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm here to go in the fucking pocket and fuck you up. I'm not letting you fucking win this fight. When you're having your first fight in kickboxing, technique is great, but technique isn't the thing you should rely on to really win this fight. And an issue that I had prior to that fight and sparring was really just, you know, backing up whenever like my sparring partners would, you know, throw combos and shit like that and land on me, I would just back up because I don't know, I was just being a pussy. I was scared, to be honest. A lot of the times I've sparred, I've been scared. I'm just gonna be 100% honest. Even now, like, sometimes when I'm sparring against good people, I get a bit scared. I'm like, fuck. In sparring, I would re really just rely on technique. You know, kind of being cute, right? Like, throwing that jab, throwing that cross, trying to be like, trying to treat it more as like a chess match. But when you're doing an actual fight, it's a lot more intense where like both you guys are marching forward to each other and trying to fucking take each other's head off. And I changed that in this fight where instead of being cute and shit like that, nah, I just kept marching forward, throwing the one, two, one, two, one, two, kept trying to get my fucking right hand in and like throwing overhands, haymakers, shit like that, bro. Because look, prior to sparring and to competition, you have to have that mindset that you're not a bitch or a pussy. You're not gonna let some motherfucker punch you in the fucking head and give you brain damage without giving him a punch back. Like, are you crazy? How am I gonna let someone fucking try to take my head off? He's trying to take my head off. He's trying to kill me. And I'm gonna let him fucking do that? Nah, bro. You gotta march forward and you gotta throw. If he throws one hard punch, you gotta throw two hard punches back. You can't let this motherfucker take your head like you can't bro you have to march forward you have to stand your ground at the end of the day you have to be a fucking dog this is something that like one of my sparring partners told me you can have all the technique you can be you know athletic and shit like that but if you're not a fucking dog if you're not a dog if you're not willing to just go into the fucking pocket and trade punches you're just not gonna go anywhere bro you're gonna fucking lose your fight as a matter of fact there's one kid on my team this kid is unathletic as fuck has the worst fucking technique I've ever seen in my life. But this dude knows how to scrap. This dude's willing to like go forward, trade in the fucking pocket. Even though his technique is shit, he, he can, like he throws like this. Like I, his technique is fucking awful. But he's able to just go into the fucking pocket and trade punches with you. Because he's not afraid to at the end of the day. He's not going to let you try to take his head off without him trying to take your head off but with even harder fucking punches. That's the mindset you should have at the end of the day. Don't be a bitch, don't be a pussy. Be willing to fucking train. Now I understand how difficult it is to have that mindset, to go and to be a dog and to go inside and train the pocket without feeling scared because this is an issue that I've, I've been struggling with. At the end of the day, it really is your mindset. So that's why I built a community for martial artists to help you build an unbreakable mindset. And I built this community so that we can all support and we can all help each other out. And on top of that, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching in the community to really help you build that unbreakable mindset so that you can dominate in competition. So if you're interested, join the link in the description below. And I hope to see you there, man. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe. And remember, my boys, stay active, stay busy, and most of all, stay hungry.